Today, we are going to discuss about uh, DC generators, direct current generators. The main principle of a generator is, we can convert mechanical energy to the electrical energy. So whenever we are giving mechanical energy to the DC generator, we can obtain the electrical energy as output. So the main principle is conversion from mechanical energy to the electrical energy. Before going to discuss about DC generator, let's talk about DC machine. Why? Because the same DC machine can act as a DC generator and DC motor. Depends on the input we are giving. Suppose if you are giving input as a mechanical energy, it will convert to electrical energy that is a DC generator. If you are giving electrical energy as the input, it will convert as a mechanical energy that is a DC motor. The DC motor we can use everywhere in the toys, mostly toys, cars and the trimmer. That motor is nothing but a DC motor. Okay. And sometimes we will use this, the DC generators. Actually the power is generated from the three phase alternators and our domestic and industrial purpose is utilizing AC power but some industries are also requiring DC for efficient work uh, like metallurgy industry, metallurgical industry, traction and some chemical industries also use these DC generators. Right? Let's go into a small discussion on DC machine and then we can go for DC generators. Okay? Let's go into it. Yes, this is the practical DC machine. So the different parts, one is stator which is in stationary part and rotor rotating part. This is the shaft. We have to give mechanical energy or we have to take the mechanical energy through the shaft. And this is the cooling fan. If the heat is generated, we have, it has to be cooled. It's a cooling fan. It's a practical transformer. Sorry, practical DC machine. So this is the uh, cross-sectional view. So in this cross-sectional view, we can see the different parts in the DC machine. The main parts armature, this armature conductors. These are the conductors. These are called slots. These are slots. And this is magnetic poles, north pole and south pole. It's a four pole machine. This viewing cross section is four pole machine. To create that magnetic field, we have to use the windings. That windings is nothing but a field wind. That means we have to use uh, uh, copper wire or whatever the conductors to create a magnetic field. That windings is nothing but a field winding. And this armature inside there is a conductor that is also a copper wire armature winding. One is field winding, other one is a armature winding. And commutator. So what is the purpose of commutator? We can discuss further. Shaft we already discussed. Pole shoe and frame or yoke. Frame is uh, yoke. Frame or yoke. It is used to protect the DC machine from external forces. Okay, mechanical forces or any other external forces are there. It will act as a protector. Okay, this is yoke. This is a cross-sectional view. It will indicate the different parts available in the DC machine. Now, Let's discuss about the DC generator. So the main principle of a DC generator is it will convert from mechanical energy to electrical energy. So what happens if I am giving mechanical energy? So according to the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, whenever the conductor cuts the magnetic flux, an EMF is induced in the conductor. So this is the basic principle of a DC generator or any generator. Whenever the conductor cuts the magnetic flux, so there is should be a relative motion, a relative motion between the conductor and the magnetic flux. This conductor causes the magnetic flux and EMF is induced. So if you see here, so whenever the conductor causes the magnetic flux, dynamically induced EMF is produced. 
T is according to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. So whatever the EMF induced in that conductor will cause the flow of current when the circuit is closed. And this mechanical energy is converted to electrical energy, we already know. So what is the basic requirements? One is magnetic flux, another one is the conductors. So there should be a relative motion. If it is both are moving at the same speed, if the relative speed is zero, there is no cutting of flux. There should be relative motion between these conductors and the magnetic flux. Okay. If the relative speed is zero, there is no EMF. So main parts are conductors, magnetic field and mechanical energy. Yes. This is uh, elementary generator. Understand the basic concept inside how the EMF is induced. The parts here, this is the magnetic field, north pole and south pole. So this is the single coil, which is having two conductors. I can take it as a name. A, B, C, D. So A, B conductor and C, D conductors. So it will be given to commutator and brushes. So these are called brushes and these two are called commutator segments. The, what is the purpose of those commutator segments? I will explain. So these brushes used to collect the electrical energy generated in the armature. So this is the axis of rotation. These armatures are all connected to the shaft. If I giving mechanical energy, that shaft will start rotating. So this conductor will start rotating in anti-clockwise direction. Then this is the north pole and south pole. These are all magnetic lines. Magnetic lines always start from north pole to south pole. So if this conductor start rotating if it is start rotating like this in anti-clockwise direction these conductors will cut that magnetic flux then the emf is induced in the conductors in the so this is conductor a it will be in this position and d so in this case the conductor is in this position the conductor is in this position all the magnetic lines from north pole to south pole travel inside the conductor. There is no EMF or there is no flux linked to these conductors. It's like in between there is a hole. The conductors are in this fashion. The magnetic lines are flowing inside the conductors. There is no linkage of flux. At that time, if the flux linkage is zero, the EMF is zero. At that point, EMF is zero. If the conductor again rotates, suppose it will make A, B, con A conductor and it will make C and D. Before this is a position of conductors, now it is the position. The flux linkages, the flux cuts this conductor and this conductor. So in this case, the maximum EMF will be induced. Why? Because this both conductor will cut the flux. In before case, if it is the, if this is the position, all the magnetic lines going into the coil, no magnetic lines are touching these two conductors, then the EMF is zero. On the process of rotation, if the conductor becomes this position, all the magnetic lines will cut this conductor and this conductor. Now the maximum EMF is induced, right? So in this case, the maximum EMF is induced. And again, the conductor will becomes here and this CD conductor and it is B and it is A. Now the flux linkage is zero, the EMF is also zero. Again, it will goes like this, it is B conductor, it is A conductor and it is C and it is D. In this case, the maximum EMF is there and at the, po at the point uh, uh, E, it is also zero. So in this way, when the conductor or coil makes complete cycle, complete cycle, it will reach from zero to maximum and reaches to zero and reaches to maximum and reaches to zero. For 360 degrees, for 360 degrees, it will 
completes one cycle that means two positive cycle will be obtained collect this pulsating dc through the brushes the purpose of commutator is it will converts ac energy to dc energy actually in the armature whenever the conductor cuts the emf an alternating emf will be induced whenever these conductors ab is connected to one segment com uh, commutator segment at this position this brush will touch touch both the commutator segments that means so red and yellow so this brush will short circuited these two that means that at that position the emf is zero and if you see here red will be connected to positive terminal and yellow will be connected to another terminal at this condition the maximum emf will be there and when you coming to the negative cycle it will makes to positive cycle by using this commutator operation okay the main purpose of this commutator is to convert ac supply to dc supply so we are obtaining pulsating dc we are collecting those pulsating dc through the brush, uh, brushes carbon brushes mostly used so that will be connected to load okay and the pole tips are curved so that the pole faces produce a more uniform gap ikkada ee magnetic poles chusinatlaite it seems to be curved shape ee curved shape enduku pettarante the air gap uh, sorry the flux has to be uniform throughout the armature so in the inside armature it seems to be circular shape outer portion we have to use magnet in this way the we can produce the uniform magnets uniform magnetic field if you use this type of magnets we can produce the uniform magnetic flux throughout the armature so for that purpose we have the pole tips are curved shape the emf generated in the conductor rotating in a magnetic field is both sinusoidal and alternating so i already mentioned the emf induced in the armature will be or uh, alternating in nature and no emf induced in the coil sets so what is coil sets so bc if you see coil sets bc and ad so if you see this conductor bc and ad the flux linkage is zero why because flux is in the same way and this conductor is also same so the flux is in case is zero that coil sides the emf is also zero even some small amount is generated this is also negligible you know emf is generated in the coil sides okay so this is the 3d diagram you can you can understand better so this is the copper wire we can use as a conductor and this is the commutator segment one side is connected to one segment another side is connected to another segment and these are the brushes carbon brushes and through this we can connect to the load so here one type of magnetic fields from north pole to south pole and one conductor is there here and one more coil is connected we can see four segments here so in this case only two segments commutator segments so for one coil 1 2 3 4 so for one coil two segments two coils four segments okay so for all the coils this is called commutator segments so this is are called slots this is shaft 